So today I'm going to show you how to use custom number formatting to set colors depending upon the type of number or text that you have in each cell. So I'm going to show you first of all how to do this here and then we'll run through briefly the different colors you have and you can download a copy of this if you go to the description below and click on that link and get a copy of this so you can reference that for yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the basics. So to get to the custom number format, we can click here on the toolbar with more formats and then custom number format. You can also get to it by going to the format menu, then under number, then the custom number format. And then once we're here, we can look at, first of all, what our basic formats look like. So I'm just going to put in a semicolon with a 0000. zero, zero, zero. And this just shows us here that we have positive, negative, zero, and text. And so whatever we put here in this first spot will be for our positive numbers, then our negative numbers, then any zero numbers, and then any text. So I'm going to change this to an at symbol. And then that will render the text as that. So this is where you could put a double quote and it actually turn text into a non display. But we're going to go ahead and do at for now. And so text will show up. And then what we can do is we can add a color in front of any of these. So we can add in front of all of them. And so sometimes what you just see is people just put red in front of the negative. Now, one thing I probably want to do here as well as add that negative sign here or that minus in front of it just to make it more apparent. Uh, other option that people do sometimes is wrap it in parentheses. So you can do whichever one you want. I'm just going to do the negative for now. So that will just turn the negative to red, but won't affect the other ones. If that's what you want, then you can be done and you can go to town. And you also, in that case, would not need the rest of these. So you can you could specify just the positive or negative. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's go ahead and add green to our positive. And then let's change our zeros to blue. And then our text we could change to black, just like that. And this will, when we apply it, then you can see there it is. So our positive number is green, negative number is red, our zero is blue, and our text is black. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on a result one here. So I'm just going to pick that rule here. And then now we can see if I enter one, turns to positive, negative one, turns to red. I do zero, turns blue. And if I put sample example, then it turns black. And just to, so that way you know it's not reading a specific number. I'll do 10, we do minus 45, um, zero. There's only one way to write zero. So and then text could be anything, it could be Tom, and it'll show up just like that. So that's the basics of that. And really, the only thing that potentially you might want to modify is changing the color names. And so if we go through this, this is the name with text. So what I just did there. Now, there are more colors available, but once you get to that, you have to use the number because there's not a name for those. So, for example, we want to change that green to this color we could change it to color 10. So this green is kind of a bright green. So maybe you want to change that. So we can go here, go to our custom number format, and then up here, we'll change this to color 10. And hit apply. Now you can see it's a slightly more muted green, not quite as blaring. And now if we turn 10 or 2500, you can see it's a slightly more muted green. So you can go through and pick the colors that you want for the different aspects and apply them accordingly. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.